Ernest Garcia, also known as Ernie, was born and raised in Garden City, Kansas. Garcia graduated from Garden City High School in 1962. He then attended Wichita State, then the University of Kansas. Garcia's noteworthy adventure through life is now printed on pages, with the author being his cousin, Dennis Garcia. Garcia explains the book in the making. Well, I went to a family reunion uh, several years ago, like two and a half years ago. And Dennis, my cousin, approached me and said, you know, you, you've had a really unique uh, life experience. Uh, uh, I, you know, can I write about it? Uh, and I said, sure. But I had a lot of people say to me, it's not about you, Ernie. It's about the community. It's about leaving a legacy for your family, your community, your country. Ernie believes that hardships are just a part of life. His character strengthened him to deal with the obstacles. The foundation of his character was taught to him by his family, school, church, and plenty more. Sergeant Garcia claims that his valuable traits include commitment, respect, honor, and hard work, which assisted him in the military in the Korean War, with different jobs in DC, especially when working with Bob Dole, and when he was a colonel of the Kansas Highway Patrol. I had the commitment. I wanted to be successful. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to be, but I just knew that I wanted to finish college. The book is not just about Ernie. It includes his family's roots as well. The Garcia family has dominated the city of Garden City since the 1900s and are currently making Garden a phenomenal place. We dominated the, uh, the city of Garden City. Uh, the, the name Garcia was uh, well known. The author, Dennis Garcia, Ernie's cousin, gives input on how family values impacted Ernie's life. Ernie has led a very interesting life, my cousin Ernie Garcia. And um, as I reviewed his life's experiences, I found them to be inspiring. Um, they were um, full of uh, adventure. They were um, amazing. He, his story, his life story and experiences was a story that needed to be told. And so I decided to write a book about him. I think his life is um, uh, a reaffirmation or a, a confirmation of the American dream. When I wrote about him, I wanted to know the things that inspired him and why he did certain things a certain way. And then I've come to realize a lot of it was our family's values. You work hard. You go to school. You take care of your family. You contribute to your community. Um, and so when those values, uh, I think that's, uh, those values are the things that pushed Ernie, guided Ernie, and helped him get through so that he would have a good educational career and a good military career. Ernie claims how it doesn't matter where someone comes from, rather it matters where they're going. Garcia is grateful for his roots in Garden City. He serves as a perfect example of blooming where one is planted. For high schoolers and even the residents of Garden City, here's what Ernie has to say. Thanks to all of uh, my, my teachers and coaches in Garden City High School, it, it was because of them that I, I think I got a good start on life. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But because of that, I think I developed a, a personality that told me to get up Put your head forward, work hard, and commit yourself to something, whatever it is. In life comes numerous opportunities to be great and achieve anything. Despite the difficulties that come with life, success and blessings await on the other side. I'm from Garden City. It can be done, even though you're from Garden City. It actually doesn't make any difference where you're from. But I'm from Garden City, and I was able to do it, and I expect you to do it. Thank you for listening. I'm Deborah Medina.